Namaste. How are you all? Very good. Yes, I am fine too. So, are you all ready for today's English class? Good. Okay, so do you know what are we going to discuss today? Okay, good. Yes, we are going to today discuss today unit 14, stating units and quantities. Okay, and under this unit, we are going to deal reading 1 and 2. Reading 1 and 2. We shall deal with reading 1 and 2 today. Okay, now see there all of you. Okay, see there, there is a chart given in a book. Now, look at this chart and then answer these questions. The first question is, have you ever seen a chart like the following? So, have you ever seen this type of chart? Yes, okay. So, tell me, where do you see this? Where have you seen such type of chart? Restaurant, okay, but in restaurant these things are not found, no, only food items are found. So, tell me where have you exactly seen like this? Like you see there is, uh, you know, there are different varieties of rice, yes, and there is, uh, there is mentioned the price of those different varieties. Is the kind of the shop, okay. Okay, yes, you can find this type of chart in shops, in grocery shops, isn't it? And one you have said in restaurant that is actually menu, okay, where there is written the name of food and then the price, that is called menu. This one is called price chart, okay. You see the different items are there and then there is price of those items. So, you can find this type of chart in grocery shop, in supermarkets, okay. Oh, well, of course, of course, in vegetable shops also. All right, now let us deal with reading one, okay. There is a chart and there are some things mentioned over there, like there is the name of that shop all in one store. What is the name of the shop? Yes, all in one store. That is the name of the shop. Like there are uh, different uh, names of shop, you know, uh, like in, in your locality, just name some of the shops you are, yeah, that you have around your house. Grocery shops. Okay, Shrestha Kirana Pasal, very good. Of course, why not? Others? Okay, very good. Yes, so you have visited shop. Yes, so there is, you see, there is name of the shop. And then there is price list. Okay, so here in items, there are different varieties of rice. Yes, even rice has different varieties. The one you eat is not the only one type of rice. There are different type of rice. Some rice have good smell, yes. Some have very long grains. Very long means a little bit longer than we eat normally. And some have a thicker one. So they are named according to that, okay. So here are different varieties of rice that is available in this shop, okay. And here you have the price of those different varieties, okay. And they are in what unit? We discussed last time about units and quantity. Yes, they are in kg, okay, kilogram, right. Kilogram, one kilogram, you see in NRS, money, the amount is, you know, the amount of money is mentioned here, means they are according to 1 kg equals to how much NRS. Are you clear? The third column you see, the price mentioned there, that is 1 kg, 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 1 kg
So, you see what is the first variety of the rice mentioned over there? Pokhreli rice. Is this rice cooked in your home? Have you tested it? All right. So, what is the price of Pokhreli rice? 80 rupees. Means if you have to buy 1 kg of Pokhreli rice, how much you have to pay? Very good, yes, you have to pay 80 rupees. And RS Bhattiko, Nepali rupees. Right? Means this soap is the soap of uh, that is in Nepal only. So, if you go to that shop and you have to buy pokhreli rice, what is the amount of money you need to pay? Yes, 80 rupees. Okay, the next one is Zira Masino rice. This is a very common rice you see. Yes, because most people use it. Zira Masino rice. What is the price of 1 kg Zira Masino rice? That is also 80 rupees. See, Pokhreli rice also 80 rupees and Jira Masino also how much? Yes, 80 rupees. Okay. The next one is Indian Basmati rice. Okay, so what is the price of Indian Basmati rice? 100, NRS 100. Means if you have to buy 1 kg of Indian Basmati rice from this shop, then how much you have to pay? What amount of money you need to carry in your pocket? NRS 100, 100 rupees. 1 kg 100 rupees. Okay. Next is Mansuri rice. Okay. Now, what is the price of Mansuri rice? 65 rupees. Okay, 1 kg of Mansuri rice cost how much? 65, okay. Then the next one is Sona Mansuri rice. Have you heard this different name of the rice? Oh, you have heard, very good. Okay, Sona Mansuri rice that cost how much? 60 rupees per kg. How much? 60 rupees per kg. A kg ko koti pornagayata? Good, yes. All right, the next item is Taishin beaten rice. So, beaten rice means it is not actually rice, it is a flattened rice. I know, chura one sami. Asu chura han basani. Mito unsa? Yes. So, this Taishin beaten rice cost 120 rupees per kg. So, that is uh, the most expensive rice, variety of rice among all those seven types. The next one is normal beaten rice okay? and that cost how much? 70 rupees per kg. So, see the chart once more and tell me which one is the most expensive one, most expensive variety of rice. Yes, of course, you see Taichin beaten rice that is 120 rupees per kg. Okay, and what is the cheapest one? Which variety of rice is the cheapest one? Means that cost two less. Yes, Sona Mansuri rice that is just how much? 60 rupees per kg. Okay, and tell me there are Two varieties of rice which cost exactly the same. Uste uste parsa kunche ho. Very good, yes. They are pokhreli rice and jira masino rice. They have equal amount of money, same price. Okay, and what is the price of basmati rice? Indian basmati rice? Good, it is 100 rupees per kg. So, have you got it? Okay, so that was about the rice items. Now, let us move to the next part of the chart and they are dal items. You cannot have rice only, is not it? You need to have, you need to buy the dal too. Okay, so you see the same store, yes, all in one store has got these different varieties of dal pulses and again there is mentioned what? The price of those different varieties. 
Okay, once I have a quick look and then tell me which dal or which pulse, dal is called pulse, okay, is used in your house, in your home. What does your mom cook? Which one? Do you have any idea? No? Then you should ask your mom. Okay? Okay, all right. So, let's see here. The first one is big black gram. That is called big mass. Mass kudal khan basa. Yes, even that has got different varieties, big, small. Yes, so big black gram cost how much? 160 rupees per kg. A kg ko koti Good, yes, 160 rupees. All right, that is bit expensive than rice item. You see, small black gram now, that is called a small mass. How much does it cost? 150 rupees per kg. Small black gram cost 150 rupees per kg. Okay, that is 10 rupees yes, cheaper than big black gram, isn't it? You see, big black gram is just 100 is uh, 160 rupees, and a small black gram is 150 rupees. That means small black gram, small mass is how much? 10 rupees cheaper than big mass. The next dal item is big green gram, big moong, moong ku dal hai. Big green gram cost 160 rupees again. Again means big mass also cost 160 rupees per kg. And again, big moong also cost how much? 160 rupees means they have equal amount of money, means same price. Okay, big mass and big moong have got the same price, 160 rupees. So, the next one is red lentil. Lentil money ko dal hai, musuro dal. Okay, number one. Okay, that has also got the numbering, ranking, number one. Okay, so. Red lentil cost how much? Yes, 130 rupees per kg. Okay, and red lentil number two, second rank. You see, as you have ranking in your school, this dal have also got ranking. Okay, so red lentil number two cost 120 rupees per kg. Means that is again 10 rupees cheaper than red lentil number one. Our number one one, if you see, of course, it may cost a little bit more than number two. Okay, the next one is split red gram, that is, we call it Rahar Kudal. Okay, so split red gram cost 180 rupees, it is the highest amount, I think, so far we have read. Okay, the next item of dal is split Bengal gram, that is chana dal. Okay, gram, that is chana, you know. It cost how much? 160 rupees per kg. Now, tell me which is the most expensive dal item here in this shop? Yeah, of course, that is split red gram, rahar kudal. Mongo, isn't it? That is the most expensive one. You see, 180 rupees per kg. All right. And which is the least expensive or let's say cheaper one, cheapest one? Which one? Yes, that is red lentil number two. That is just 120 rupees per kg. And are there any dal items which have the same price? Very smart, yes, there are three dal items which have same price. They are big black gram, then after big green gram and split bengal gram. That means they all have the same price, 160 rupees per kg. Okay, so which dal item is used in your home? You must ask your mother, okay, and then tell me in the next class. Alright, okay, so that's about the dal, dal items, the price of the dal items. 
Now, let us move to the exercises. The first one is write true or false. We have to go quickly through the chart we have discussed just now and then you have to say either these statements are true or false. Okay? Quickly do it and then we shall have correction, we shall see what the answers are. Okay, come and do it. Okay, have you finished it? Very good. Okay, so the question A says, Pokhrili rice is the most expensive rice item. So, here you see here I have mentioned the price of the rice items that is from the chart. Now, question says, Pokhrili rice is the most expensive rice item. Is that a true statement? Very good, it is not true, that is false. The most expensive one is this Taichan beaten rice, okay, not the Pokhrili rice. Okay. Next is Mansuli rice is cheaper than Sona Mansuli rice. Do you agree? Is that a true statement? Yes, of course not. That is false. You see, Mansuli rice, how much it cost? 65 rupees and Sona Mansuli rice cost 60 rupees. So, Sona Mansuli is cheaper, not Mansuli. So, this statement is also false. Okay, the next one, normal beaten rice is cheaper than Taichin beaten rice. Of course, that is true. Taichin beaten rice is more expensive than normal beaten rice, isn't it? Okay, the next question is, red lentil number 1 is less expensive than red lentil number 2. Okay, so the next question says red lentil number 1 is less expensive than red lentil number 2. Very good, it is a false statement. Number 1 always have good price than number 2. You see red lentil number 1 has got 130 rupees and red lentil number 2 is 120 rupees. So, that is more expensive not less expensive, is not it? Okay, the next one is split red gram is the most expensive dal item. Do you agree? Yes, that is true. You see, split red gram is really the most expensive dal item in the given list. Okay, so there we have already uh, done with true and false. Let us move to the next question now. Answer the following questions. The first question is, which shop does the price chart belong to? Tell me quickly, which, uh, here is the chart, tell me. Very good, the name of the shop is all in one store, very good, yes, correct answer. Okay, question number B, which beaten rice will you buy if you have only 100 rupees? So, in your wallet, in your pocket, if you have only 100 rupees, which beaten rice can you buy? Good, yes, we can buy normal beaten rice, not the Tai Chin, because normal beaten rice cost how much? 70 rupees, means that is below 100. You can buy it. If you want to buy Tai Chin beaten rice, you must have 200 rupees or 150 rupees. Okay, more than 100 I mean to say. Alright, the next question now. Which dal items have equal price? We discussed it earlier. Tell me, see the chart and quickly tell me which dal items have got equal price. Yes, okay. Yes, of course. They are big black gram, big green gram and split bengal gram they all cost how much 160 rupees per kg okay so the next question is how many dal items are available in the shop quickly count it and tell me how many dal items are there 
Very good, yes, it's seven. Seven dal, dal items are available in the shop all in one store. Now the next one, see there. Ask your parents about the price of food items at your home and make a price chart. Now, don't only do the task of eating only. Once you sit with your mom and the things you eat, you have to keep the record of the price also, how much it cost. Okay, so you have to prepare, first of all, in a paper, in a full size paper, you just make, uh, one side you have to mention the food items. Okay, make a make a table and just here you write food items. All right, and here you have to mention the price. Okay, like how much rice cost, how much dal cost. Okay, vegetables if you are consuming, then how much tomato cost, cauliflower like this. Okay, can you do that? All right then. Prepare it in a chart, a full size paper, and then you have to present it in your next class. All right. Okay. So now we shall move to reading two. So I have got something for you before going exactly to reading two. Okay. So see here, all of you. What is written there? Christmas special offer, and there is a drawing of. Christmas tree also. Have you seen a chart like this? Something, a paper like this. Oh, very good. You have seen. Okay. Where have you seen it actually? You know, actually where have you seen it? Supermarket. Okay. Oh, in the shop near your house. Very good. Yes. So, there is a special offer on the occasion of Christmas. And what is the offer? 15% off. How much percent? 15% off on website design and development. So, this is a computer institute perhaps. They teach how to make a um, you know website, how to design a website. So, they are giving 15% off on each course. So, this, is, this offer is for the Christmas. Now, see the advertisement chart uh, given in your book. What is this text? See there? Hurry up! 20 percent discount offer for two weeks on the occasion of new year. Happy new year! They are wishing you happy new year with the discount offer. And how much discount? 20 percent. Wow! That is a big discount. 20 percent. And for how many days this offer is? Two weeks. The offer is for two weeks. Okay. All right. So, what things are available there? There are colors, the geometry box, pens, books, calculator. So, what type of shop this might be? Guess it? Kekusopolata. Pencil color aru, pen aru. Where do you get all these things? Good, yes, we get all these things in stationery. I know. So, this stationery shop has given 20 percent discount offer on the occasion of New Year. So, if you go to that shop and you buy these things, you will have 20 percent discount. Okay. Now, these are the discounted, you know, these are the price and when you buy it, you will get 20 percent off. Okay. So, what is the price of here pen, colors, pencil colors are there? 90, okay, uh, 90 rupees and pen, how much pen cost? Okay, 20 rupees. What about the book, uh, exercise book, notebooks? 50 rupees. And then geometry box, 75 rupees, okay. And what about the calculators? It cost 
350 rupees but now if you go you have to pay less amount than this 350 not exactly 350 but 20 percent discount in all those items so this is actually advertisement okay prasar prasar gari ko anta hai na yes so advertisement here and it shows the discount offer of this stationery shop on the occasion of new year okay now there are certain exercises based on this advertisement first one is answer the following questions question number a is what is the special offer kisa the special offer yes 20 percent discount 20 percent discount on the occasion of new year or develop it in a sentence and write a full sentence okay so the special offer is 20 percent discount on the occasion of new year next question is how long does the discount offer remain how long what is the time period for this discount discount doesn't remain for so long you know or forever it is only for a certain period certain time so you have to grab the opportunity so how long is uh, this shop has provided the discount offer and for how long good that is two weeks if you visit there within two weeks you will get 20 percent discount okay the next question is which is the cheapest item which is the cheapest item there are five items over here which one is the cheapest one yes exactly that is pain the price of pain is only 20 rupees and now you it, you will get it in 20 percent discount that will be exactly the cheapest one less than five rupees okay uh, now the next one is which is the most expensive item most expensive item among these five which is the most expensive one good yes that's calculator that is the most expensive one okay so now what you have to do is you have to prepare such type of you know advertisement uh, advertisement by yourself okay so in your exercise book or you can take a plain uh, paper also and there you have to write exactly like what is the discount offer for the occasion you have to write on what occasion you can include any festivals like you can write Tihar or Dasai offer especially you know because most of the shops most of the companies they give discount offer during the Dasai festival so you can write Dasai yes special offer on the occasion of Dasai or a special offer on at uh, you know on Dasai special offer on Dasai and what is the offer you have to include the offer offer is what like it's not always discount you know you can write uh, buy two get one free i know dwita may order free also yes mainly the when you visit the you know, cloth shop you will find this type of things buy two get one free if you mean that means if you buy two items you will get one exactly free absolutely free so you can include that or if you have suppose you are thinking yourself to be the owner of a big company so you can say five percent discount or you can be more generous and say 25 percent discount so you have to include the name of the offer what is the offer okay and then you have to write on what items okay you have to write the name of items buy two get one free on which items or 20 percent discount on which items you have to include it you have to name those items yes and below you should write the name of the shop
ok, your name, uh, your name means the name of your shop, ok, or your company and then you should include the contact number, contact details, I will just write contact details. That means, you have to include the location, so that when the people read it, they are very much excited to go there, is not it? When they see the 25 discount, oh my god, where is that? So, they should know where to go, ok. So, these things you have to include, first of all, include the occasion, make it very attractive one. As you see in the book, make it very attractive one, use different colors, write on occasion, on what occasion? and then after what is the name of the offer, ok. And then you have to include the name of items, items means in what items you have given those discount or that is special offer, ok. And then name of the shop, your name of the company or shop and then contact details means your contact number and the location of the shop, Kazani, to say one person, if any. Okay. So, these things you include, you can use a plain paper and then just use different colors, make it very beautiful, attractive one, so that when the customers read it, they will come running to your shop, ok. Alright then, ok. So, make it and then you have to present it in your next class. Alright, dear students, that is all for today. See you in the next class. Till then, stay safe. Namaste.